A murder inquiry is underway in Wollongong, south of Sydney, after the gruesome discovery of a woman's body in the boot of a car. For more, let's cross live to Nye's Matthew Snelson. Matt, how did police find her body? Well, Brett, the 41-year-old lived in the unit block uh, here in Wollongong behind me. Now, police say about 2.45 yesterday they actually discovered her car a white Kia Rio uh, in bushland in a few, a few suburbs north of here up near the Illawarra Escarpment at a place called Coromel. They tried to make contact with her. They weren't able to. They say they made further inquiries. They left and then returned at about 7 o'clock after those further inquiries and actually discovered her body in the boot of that car. Uh, now, this has all come as a terrible shock, obviously, to all her neighbours here. We're told that she is a, a, a mother of a young son. Uh, it's left everyone here reeling. Take a listen to what some of her neighbours had to say this morning. Yeah, scary, scary. Well, I couldn't believe it. Like, she was a nice lady and I didn't think anything like that would happen to her. You saw her last night and nothing was wrong? Ah, uh, not the, just one hour before it actually happened to her. So yeah, that's it. It's, it's pretty, pretty scary. Now, police haven't uh, named uh, this woman and uh, they're not talking at this stage uh, in any way about how she died. The homicide squad's been called in to take charge of the investigation. At the moment, there's a crime scene here where she lived at her unit and forensic specialists are still over at Coromel where her car was found examining the scene there. The homicide detectives have actually made a special plea this morning uh, asking that anyone who saw her white Kia driving erratically either around her home here in Wollongong or in Coromel where her body was later found to come forward and contact police. We will hear a little bit more from police in about half an hour's time where that when they uh, give an update on their investigation, Brett. Matt Snelson in Wollongong, thank you.